Hi, this is Jayani from Pekishmi, back once again with a super easy, no need focaccia recipe. And I'm going to make it more simpler by saying that I don't need an oven for it because I'm going to be using the Tefal Easy Fry Oven and Grill to make this bread. So first things first, let's get the dough started. I'm going to need one cup of water, lukewarm water, not too hot, not too cold. To this, I'm going to be adding one teaspoon of honey. Mix that together. To this, I'm going to be adding one teaspoon of yeast. Instant dry yeast. Mix that well. And this needs to stand for about five minutes until the mixture is bubbly and then you know that the yeast has been activated. So you can see that the bubbles have really risen and the entire mixture has sort of bubbled up and when this happens you know that the yeast is activated and this is the same process that's going to be going on in the bread as you mix the flour in and other ingredients in as well. So we are going to add the flour to this now. Two cups. So to this we are going to be adding some salt and I'm going to do a little twist on the traditional focaccia. I'm going to make it a little Sri Lankan and I'm going to be using the curry leaves powder that I have made in the Tefal air oven. The Tefal easy fry oven comes with a dehydrating feature which is really really cool and this is what I use to make this curry leaf powder. All you need to do is wash the curry leaves and put it in the dehydrator mode for a few hours and you get really crunchy, really fresh curry leaves which you can powder to make this. Now I'm just going to add the curry leaf powder that I've made into the bread mixture. And now I'm going to just mix this. I love the colours. Can you see the colours? Just bring it all together. So now I'm going to be using my hands but like I said earlier we are not going to be kneading the bread. I'm just going to use my hands to bring it all together. Just smooth it over so that there are no dry streaks of flour. Incorporate everything together. Right, this is ready. And I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil over it. Just a little bit. Smooth that over. Put it on the bowl. And I'm going to leave this to rise for about four to five hours until the mixture has doubled in size. My dough has been resting for four hours now and it's been resting in a warm place, covered and it has risen now, if you can see it's double the size than what we started with. So this, I'm now again going to give it a small mix. Like I said, I am not going to be kneading this. So just using my fingers, making it into a ball. going to just keep this aside for the time being. I'm going to take this tray and it needs a bit of oiling so I'm going to spray it. Just spread it out a little bit. Never be afraid to use your fingers because for me that's the true joy of food using my fingers. So now we are done at this rate. This needs to rest again in a warm place for another two to three hours and it's going to rise up just a little bit and then we are going into baking this. I've let my dough rest for about two hours in a warm place and you can see that it has slightly risen, it's gotten a bit puffy. So we are now going to just massage a little bit this dough 
and just really punch some holes into it. And I'm going to add some olive oil. Drizzle it all over and really punch it in. That's how you get all the flavors in. Now this is good to go. So I have some sliced fresh tomatoes here. So what I'm going to do is line the bread with those beautiful fresh tomatoes. Gently press that in because you need it to stick to the bread when it comes out baked. I'm also going to add some curry leaves because hey, curry leaf themed focaccia, so why not some curry leaves? Right, we are set to go. So this now goes into my easy fry oven. You just put this in. Then the menu items, you have to choose the dessert option. So the bread needs about 45 minutes, so I'm going to set the time of here. 45 minutes on the clock and uh, halfway through I would advise you to place a foil on top of the bread that is to keep the tomatoes and the curry leaves from burning while the bread still cooks from underneath. So we will wait and see what the result is. So our bread is done. Let's see how it looks. We'll take the foil out and so let's Cut this now. Look at that. I'm going to cut it into squares. I can smell the curry leaf from here and it's wonderful. And there you go, my easy, no need curry leaf focaccia in the easy fry oven and grill. So just like the carapincha powder that I made in the dehydration mode, these are some apple chips that I made using the same method. And as you can see, they are very crunchy and are the ideal snack for whenever you feel peckish.